it's December, early morning, minus five degrees. I bid farewell to my family to go treasure hunting. It's Christmas time. It's minus five degrees. It's absolutely freezing. I'm coming to the end of man flu. This is what we do. Welcome to Winter Wonderland. Hello, greetings and welcome to another metal detecting expedition. Today you're joining me on a frozen winter wonderland. I've come out to do some metal detecting. It's the only time I've got. I've got the XP Days 2 metal detector with me. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I've got three hours before we're going to go and see Santa and buy a new Christmas tree. But I'm out metal detecting today. This is the chance that I've got. Thank you very much for coming along. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button up there. It'd mean the world to me. And I hope to see you again on some of my other metal detecting expeditions. But let's go, let's see what we can find on this frozen landscape. This is my first signal I'm gonna show you. I've dug a couple of bits of scrap already. I think this is gonna be a lead bag seal. I'm right on the bag seal field here. A little squeaky number, can you hear that? I can't even begin to tell you just how cold it is today, how hard this is. Hands are absolutely freezing. I have to operate a camera somehow. There we go. In here somewhere. Feels pretty big. Oh, oh it is a bag seal. Even kneeling down on this ground is horrendous. It's rock solid and freezing. But look, we've got a Proctor and Ryland bag seal, haven't we? And it looks like a lovely, crisp example. A lot like the others. Yeah, chuffed. Not three steps away from that bag seal. Another signal, very, very similar. I wonder, that's another one, look, 83. Spade is freezing, the legs of my tripod are freezing, everything is freezing, and I'm having a good time. Oh, I don't know what that is. Is it a flake of lead or is it actually a bag seal? Oh, it is a bag seal. Let's have a closer look because I don't know. It looks different. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's round and it's lead but it's got no markings on it at all. It doesn't appear to have any holes in the side, so I don't think that is a bag seal. It's just a round chunk of lead. Well, the sun is starting to peek its way through the trees over there, so it's gonna warm up soon. My hands are really struggling to keep my hands warm, but every hole I dig, every bit of trash I find, makes the body pump blood, makes the heart beat faster, and it warms me up, and I'm battling through. Fines aren't coming through yet, the ground is surprisingly soft, but let's carry on. I've got about three hours. I need to find some more stuff. Gonna have a look at this one purely because it just feels super clean. If it was six inches deeper and a bunch fainter, I'd be all over that. But it's too good. Well, I was right, wasn't I? I was right to be skeptical because it's just a big chunk of aluminium scrap, which I'm not interested in. I do realise that Movember is over, but I'm keeping it because it's keeping me warm. I must admit. Half an hour ago or so, part of me wanted to turn around and go home. But look, this is what life's about. It's about getting out into the countryside in conditions like this. 
the UK has all the conditions, winter, spring, summer, autumn, I love them all, especially winter, even though it's freezing cold, it's so crisp, so clear, so clean. Speaking of clean, this is my next signal I'm going to be looking at, 83, it's screaming deep lead to me, but it definitely ain't deep lead, is it? What is that? It's modern junk. Modern tat. Well, I came over here to try and capture this beautiful sun coming through the tree. And I had a signal. Lovely crisp 87. That screaming pre decimal big penny. But of course, it could be anything. Let's have a look. It is a bit rooty. And I have no idea what it is. Ah, it's a button, look. A crusty copper Georgian button with a knackered shank. It was a lovely signal. And it's another find to go to the collection of stuff today. Let's carry on. Oh my god, that is absolutely epic. You might ask yourself, why on earth would you go metal detecting at 7 o'clock in the morning at Christmas time in winter? And it's because it's the only chance I've got to go metal detecting this weekend. Because we're going to go and see Santa in a bit. So I had to take the opportunity, I had to get out. I had a long week at work, a tough week at work. I need to get out and enjoy my hobby and enjoy what I enjoy doing. Fortune favours the brave. Another find to record, to report, is this key escutcheon. It was a big signal, didn't record it, thought it was going to be junk. And it's kind of cool. Nice old bit of history, isn't it? Fixed to the front of a door. Big fat key would have gone through there. Probably Georgian, if not older. I like it. I found this earlier on. I didn't know what it was and I still don't. But it's clearly something, or half of something. It was too cold to film at the time. Yeah, any ideas what that could be? Mystery item. Look what I am contending with today. Hard ground, icy ground, snowy ground, cold ground. But it's people like me and people like the people probably watching this who are out here every weekend doing what we do. They're the ones who make the good finds. They're the ones that are rewarded. But we love it, don't we? We love it. This is an interesting signal. High numbers, sounds good. But it's not crisp. It's not crisp enough to really get me going. I feel like there's some sort of corrosion on whatever that might be. A bit of rust maybe, but let's have a look. 90. Or oh, whatever it is, is here. And it definitely ain't anything good. But it ain't rusty either. It ain't corroded. It's a ball cap. Maybe there's a small bit of rust on it. Citra. I like citra. One of my favourite ales, one of my favourite hops. Well, I'm in completely full winter sunshine now and it's absolutely beautiful. It's so much warmer. I'm always too warm. But I've got a signal down here. 87, look, that feels like a coin. Possibly my first coin of the day. Small, crisp, deepish. Well, it shows what I know, doesn't it? It's a piece of scrap. Don't think that is lead, I don't know what it is, but it's going in the junk. There is something very therapeutic about standing under a tree and all its leaves are falling off. It is literally raining leaves and it is so nice. Is there something wrong with me? Is this normal? Is it normal for a 41 year old bloke to stand under a tree with the leaves falling down? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I think I've always been a bit of a weirdo. Heading back down into the uh, into the shade a bit, where it's cooler. 
didn't think I'd find myself saying that today. But I've got a signal just here, look. 92 high numbers. It's not quite deep enough to, uh, to excite me, but I'm still going to have a look. The ground is as soft as butter now after a bit of daylight. Such pleasant, easy digging. Let's see what we've got over here. Is it going to be a big silver coin? Is it going to be a copper coin? Is it going to be a coin at all? Is it going to be junk? Right in amongst these roots. Oh, I feel something smooth, possibly round. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's aluminium disc. I thought it was going to be a big silver coin then. Let's have a closer look and see what this is. Well, as you can see, it's just an aluminium disc of nothingness. But that could have been something special, couldn't it? A giant gold coin, big silver coin, but this is the hobby. This is what it's like, real metal detecting. Right over there near that verge is where I famously found the Queen Victoria silver shilling and then erased the entire video without editing or uploading everything. And that was a nice coin. Look at the view, by the way. And look at this, squeaky little high-pitched number here. 93. That's small, that could be a small silver coin. I'm liking that. Well, there we go, look. It was a tiny little washer, such a great signal. Picked that out a good six inches deep. On another day, that could have been a silver coin, but today's not meant to be, is it? Ah, uh, well, heading back to the car. I had a 73, 74, dug it. It's lead, it's round, and it could be something nice. I think it's gonna be some sort of token, but it could also just be a blank disc. Let's have a look. Oh man. It's just a blank disc, isn't it? With a hole in it. It's just a lead washer. It's nothing exciting. I thought it was gonna be a really nice token or something, but that's it, never mind. Well, that's it, my time is up. My three hours is up. The finds have not been life-changing, but I've been out here. I've tried my hardest, but I couldn't find anything exciting. But I did find the lovely bag seal, a couple of the random bits and pieces. The treasure's been out in this glorious winter landscape and I've had a really good time and now I'm off to see Santa. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope to see you again on my next episode whenever and wherever that may be. Those are some badass conditions. Let me tell you, they were hard fought finds right there. The lead washer cleaned up nice. I'd say it's probably Victorian, but I'm not really sure. I found yet another crisp Proctor and Ryland lead bag seal. These are dated very late 1800s Victorian era. Turns out the mystery lead item is actually a bag seal after all. It has the holes on the side look, but it's clearly been in the wars. Another find I made was this. I thought maybe part of a Georgian strap end, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know what this might be. Then there was this, the old key escutcheon. Again, maybe Georgian? I sure would love to see the key that went inside this lock. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today and watching this video and sharing this wintry adventure with me. I'll see you again soon. Merry Christmas.